you don't want anyone else hungry, you guys want leftover? I make something good. All right, and we cook this one again, okay? This leftover is a good one. You want spicy too? Yeah, yeah. I got the cock sauce for you, okay? Friend me, friend me, any me. All these neck neck just want to be a mini me. All these neck neck just So it's a little 7.30 right now. So I'm headed to the meet right now. And then check engine light pops up in the car. What is it? I have no idea. Sometimes the GTR kicks up an engine light and then it just it goes over it goes away right away. But anyways, let's enjoy the drive even though we have a check engine light. Uh, I'm about to go go cool. Leave on my head is red like old news. Yeah, trying to get the green like it's so fools. <laughs> I just spotted a Tesla. Hold on, let me show you. Look at this. It's like a Tesla squad. What the heck? Mm, I spotted uh, an Evo section. Oh, with the Subi right in the middle. Hey. Oh, these are the guys that hosted it right here. Oh, what's up, what's up? Where'd you park? Uh, RVs. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm over there. It's the Carbon Fibre. Can I see the inside of your car? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't post enough pictures of the inside, man. Wow, holy crap. I was like, there's gotta be carbon down here too, and there is. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much. I know, look at this. Underglow and everything? Hell yeah. That's pretty badass. Look at this. Dude, look at the setup on this three. Dude, look at the uh, steering wheel. So nice. Yeah. Carbon everywhere. Like get one, dude. Get a Tesla. <laughs> that is straight pipe. Dude, he straight piped it. Oh wow, that's a straight pipe Tesla. That'd be so confusing. You'd roll up. What? Where do people get all this money? <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this. Everyone has nice cars now. Hey man, I've been saying it for a long time. Under glow is back. Hey, look at Supra. Supra gang. Supra gang. We got Supras over here. So it's about uh, 30 minutes after official event, and this place is packed again. It's like everyone wants to get out. A lot of cool cars. I've only seen one GTR so far. A lot of Subies. What else? Few S2000 FRSs. So typical cars. Oh, Tesla gang. That's the first time for me. Uh, motorcycle, which is a good motorcycle couple right there. Um, another Subie. Yeah, you had a. The, uh, what you got, the oh yeah, everyone has a swap motor these days? Yeah. God damn. Style. Have you seen a san chandelier in a car? A chandelier. chandelier. A chandelier. Hold on, let me show you. Let me wow you real quick. Bam. Chandelier. <laughs> what if we shine some lights on it? Oh dude, dude. Look at that twinkle. Look at that twinkle. That is crazy. <laughs> Let's go take this car for a drive. Let's see what we can find. What can I do? What like to live when I got that? gonna be super loud in the background but I just kind of record this just for documentation purposes but I went ahead and sprayed this taped it off earlier have some pictures to show you uh, the fly pieces are here my cutout is there my clamps are right here and then I'm gonna use another board which is this one to give it clamp and pressure down since this is the stiffest board I have but we're ready to put some wood glue on these and see what happens good morning everybody a uh, bit of a fog again as you guys can see, I am not taking the GTR out today. I'll be taking out the Tesla because we're going all the way to Victorville, which is far enough for me to not want to drive, really. I made a newbie mistake last night. I totally forgot to charge the car. So first off, we're going to have to charge it because it has 73 miles left on the, on the car right now. This guy right here, he, he used to bike with me, but this is his lair. 
So I'll let him introduce this spot. So this is uh, the place for you if you like drones and toys. All right, so he's gonna teach me how to fly one of these without killing somebody. Yeah. That's kind of the goal. So we're gonna take the props on, uh, spool up the motors, make sure everything's good, and then Mike's gonna go out and fly. Oh God. So I came to uh, get training on the drone and I convinced Daniel over here to buy an Oculus Quest 2. There's a bad <laughs> so uh, as the, the simulator is downloading, we're just going to head over to Target and pick it up right now. How much are they? Uh, you know, I'm sponsored by Quest, I wish. That's his big boy truck right there. <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to open the door. <laughs> you have to press it harder. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, know, you know how like you're... <clears throat> the peasant days of closing your own yeah, door? No, no need. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. See? Your Raptor is a peasant car. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, what's the plan? Uh, picking up a Tesla. <laughs> picking up a Tesla. Yeah, Three, look at that. There's actually only one of the six. Oh, that would have been bad. Look at this guy. Walking with the Quest. This is the last time you're invited over. Yeah? Yeah. Oh man, next time I'll bring something else and put that seed in your head to buy something. Drone day becomes an Oculus day. What is brand new? I'm not even sure. I think I came here to pick you up and buy one. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to use a sim right now and practice. And um, it's making me pretty sweaty. Oh my gosh. It's really hard to judge. I'm gonna kill someone with this drone. Got a bad. Oh, oh geez. See, you're taking your fingers off the throttle and yeah. the sticks. Always keep them on keep there. Them on there. And it's always small movements. I'm sure really, really small movements. Put the tethers on there. Put the tethers on there. You want to throw that shit at me? <laughs> and then break it. You're going to break your uh, monitor as well. Okay, we got everything, huh? Goggles. Oh, goggles, yeah. I'm about to hop into the truck. I've never been in a Raptor before. Wow, truck is nice and big. It smells good in here. So right now we're gonna, we just got here, but we're gonna put everything away and go play with the Quest. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. So what is this exactly like? Do you even sell these anymore? No, this is our older model. This is more like a racing one, but you could put a GoPro. Now we have one specially designed for the GoPro. Oh shoot. But this one's still fine. So I'll practice with this one and then yeah. We'll figure out the GoPro yeah, stuff. Then we'll get you a GoPro one. Because I don't want to destroy my GoPro while it's on it. Wide open, no one to get hurt. Oh my god. Oh, I see his nuts. <laughs> he's, so, he's holding the drone right now. And he's walking me around. Oh, that's kind of disorienting. So, oh, show me the kill switch real quick. Uh, so right here. Uh, this one? Uh, right here. Just this flip one. it up? Yeah. To that's kill it. To arm it? Oh, to arm it, okay. Yeah. Oh, flip it down as a yeah. kill. So just kind of have your finger there, like on this side. Yeah. So if anything goes by, you can just flip it. Mm, okay. Oh my gosh. Are you at the camera? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, flip down if there's anything issue. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're not being too bad. Is it kind of like the simulator? Yeah, so it's less sensitive than a simulator. Okay. Probably because the prop, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, I didn't completely destroy anything. Where'd it go? That's right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, Dude, so I can see good. where, like, understanding, like, where your throttle is will help a lot. So once you know, like, how much power you need to input so you can save it from hitting the ground. 
then that, I think that'll help a lot. Because right now with the sim, I remember putting like kind of halfway throttle, the thing was shoot. Yeah. This one you have to put a little bit more input. That's cool here. Let me see you do it. You actually did really good. Dude. That's good. I didn't, didn't kill anybody. <laughs> do you like having the audio on? Oh. Yeah. But it's good to learn definitely. Wow. Oh man. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool though. You're so smooth with it. Yeah, I've seen people like just weave through these like crazy. Do you want to put on the bigger props? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I can just try it now yeah. since you're here. Look at this. So I landed it. I was probably like up this high when I turned it off, huh? And I just went bam and it flipped upside down. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So I have the drone to mess with, to practice on. I'll come back in a few weeks to get like an upgrade with the GoPro area, uh, GoPro mount for it. And then I'm about to get some really cool drone footage for you guys. Really, really excited for it. Where I came from and where I'm going. But like I say, man, always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.